G'day, g'day, and welcome. So today we're going to be checking out bonnet locks or hood latches, whatever you'd like to refer them to. I've got a couple of different types here. They are the El Cheapos off eBay. Uh, you can also get them in Amazon if you're in a part of the world that Amazon actually has stock of shit, which they don't really have a great deal of stuff in Australia and well, unless you like a big fucking serving box of dildos. But anyway, I digress. A uh, couple of different types here. We have, uh, this was advertised as carbon fibre. Yeah, I guess it's probably carbon fibre, but it's bloody absolute paper fucking thin there. There would be nowhere near even a mil there. It'd probably, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a mil. <laughs> um, so no idea and it's just got a bit of fucking aluminium on the back and uh, some uh, some protection not to scratch it though I don't really see why I suppose if you wanted to put it upside down but it's got a bit of a curve to it it's a uh, it's a little bit concave so um, anyway yep these are the they're the lock type I've still got the still got the plastic on this one it's what they look like all together and just um, the top piece and a rubber bit that goes underneath it and then the backing plate which sits underneath the bonnet itself so and uh, our lock I don't know they they don't really seem extraordinarily bloody strong they've only got this little fucking shear pin there which is one of these ones with a with a, uh, a spring it's a spring it's a fucking it's got a split down it one of these little um i don't know if i'm gonna be oh yeah that we get sort of focused in they're just a they're a little spring type fucking made out of spring steel so that bit goes under the bonnet this one comes down and slides on top i think it'd be a bit of a pain in the ass really because you're trying to close your bonnet it's going to be sitting like that and you've got to try and turn this lock around until it clicks in there and then clicks back and I don't know if I'd bloody I don't know if I'd be trusting that on a fucking really good fucking car I I sort of don't and allegedly using your little keys to unlock your hood and she releases but um, <coughs> I don't know you know maybe on a fucking ride on lawnmower or something maybe uh, <laughs> all right so that's that's the one type and I really don't think that fucking carbon fiber looks real bloody good either so let me show you this bit here it um, it just looks like cheap shit, personally. If I take this bit off, I can shove that back through it so I can give you a look. Oh no, I don't need to, there. Yeah, not that fucking impressive. For sure. All right, these are your, uh, these are your push button types. They don't have a lock on it. You can also get push button types with locks on it. Uh, these ones go underneath the bonnet. Again, these are even fucking thinner than those. These are about 10 mil or so, and these look like it'll be about 5 mil. They are absolutely tiny. And they go in there and push on and allegedly clip and stay. Um, but they pull apart like that. So that's going to be absolutely bloody wonderful, isn't it? You're driving down the fucking road doing 120. And uh, that's kilometres an hour, boys and girls. And, um, yeah, it's just fucking just comes apart. Look at that. Psst. Absolute garbage. Um, one of these actually works. That one sounds a little bit better. Not, look, just fell off again. No, won't even lock. Won't even stay in there at all. Push that down. No, see, just comes straight out. Oh, uh, my advice would be uh, to not fucking buy them at all. No way. Um, I think 
they're absolutely proven right here, right now, as you saw, to be an absolute fucking piece of shit. So, total fucking waste of money, even though they're only like 20 bucks or something. There's no fucking way in the world they're going on my car. Absolutely no fucking way in the world. I, I wouldn't even put them on a fucking ride on lawnmower. These ones, yeah, I'd probably put them on a, put them on some piece of shit. Um, but there's no way in the world I would be fucking using those bastards on my fucking good street car, that's for sure. Uh, I don't even think they look very good. I think they look like fucking crap. So, and I think that'd be an absolute pain in the fucking ass to do this. All the room in there, it's just, it's, look, it's just so sloppy. Look at it. Yeah. Uh, so, in my opinion, anyway, I reckon both of these are absolute total waste of fucking money. And, um, I wouldn't be using them for jack shit. That's for sure. The only alternative is to spend a shitload of money and buy them from, like, Quick Latch. Uh, these guys here. Now, apparently these are pretty good. I haven't tried them yet. I will be giving them a review uh, as soon as I manage to raise that amount of money and buy the bastards which is not really extraordinarily high on my list right this second as I've still got all the rest of the friggin car that needs doing first so if you do have some of these quick latches or you know somebody who's got them um, feel free to uh, comment below and let us know what they're like so alright well only a quick one today as per usual be good stay safe and we'll see us round like a rissile trendsetters techno techno